I'm a bit late, but I was able to finish The Mandalorian Season 3, so I'm going to rank all six live-action Star Wars seasons from the worst to the best. Hi, my name is Nathan. I talk about a bunch of movies on this channel. If you're new here, down below in the comment section, share your ranking of all six live-action Star Wars seasons on Disney+. Plus, and let me know your thoughts on the state of Disney Star Wars is at right now. Click that like button. Be sure to subscribe. I have more content like this over on my channel. Check those out once this video is over. And with that said, let's just get started with the ranking. Easily in last place, Book of Boba Fett. A totally lackluster and disappointing misfire from Disney Star Wars. They try to tell a story about Boba Fett and the underworld of Star Wars, but have to pad out the runtime with flashbacks about how Boba Fett escaped the Sarlacc pit with the Tusken Raiders, and two full-on episodes of The Mandalorian. And it's not, and that's not good when you have, you don't have enough story for a six-episode, seven-episode runtime, and you have to pad out your runtime like that. And it feels like a stretched out side quest that would be in an episode of The Mandalorian. Beyond that, there's bad fight choreography, questionable designs, cheap effects. And so this was just a total misfire. I just was so disappointed about the show that this is the track that Disney Star Wars is at now. In fifth place, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And this is what I listed down as the most disappointing thing that came out last year. On paper, it sounds like prime material to continue the Kenobi character and see what he was up to it between episode 3 and episode 4. It's fun to see Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen again, but other than that, there's just some bad writing and production. Like, there's a chase in the first episode that is so unbelievably lackluster. You got scenes where people are slapping stormtroopers in the face, and there's Interesting ideas here executed very poorly. Beyond that, it gets too repetitive. Episodes 1 and 3 are about have Leia being kidnapped, and episodes 2 and 4 have Leia being rescued. Stuff like that just sours the entire show for me. In fourth place, The Mandalorian Season 3. And I am so... It's so frustrating for me to place Mandalorian Season 3 this low. But the reality is, I just didn't like this season of The Mandalorian. And the big part of that is that it feels way too episodic, like we're just on side quests. Like episode uh, 22, chapter 22, is just a side quest with Bo-Katan and Mando. Chapter 19 is totally a side quest without any Mandalorian characters. And it plays some interesting ideas. I thought the entire show would be about how will Mandalorian regain his title as The Mandalorian. And then in the second episode, you're just like, okay, you're a Mandalorian again. It's just very lackluster. That's unbelievable the way they chose to do it. Now, it's fun to see more of Bo-Katan in a leadership role. The last two episodes are pretty good, but I'm just so disappointed with this season. Kicking off the top three is Mando Season 2. To be clear, there's a big gap from Mando Season 3 to Mando Season 2 because I thoroughly enjoy Mando Season 2. I like how after the first season, we get some bigger adventures with the Mandalorian. There's some fun new live-action characters. We get the introduction to Bo-Katan, Ahsoka. We see Boba Fett again, and even Luke Skywalker. Beyond that, there's larger stakes about having to find Grogu's people, the Jedi, the Force users. And it's paid off so well because it was set up so properly. Now, I will say, it is a bit too episodic. Because Mando has to go to a place, and then we meet someone, then we go to another place, and we meet someone, and those people are familiar faces in Star Wars. But other than that, this season was just a great companion to the first season. Our runner-up is Andor, the Star Wars TV show about a character that absolutely nobody asked for, turned out to be really good. And now keep in mind, it's very different and mature Star Wars, made for an older audience, but that's why it works. It's about the politics and the spies. And it explores the darker side of the rebellion. And it's something new and different in the world of Star Wars. All of our characters are very complex and layered. There's some interesting ideas. And so, to me, while 
this is some this is not in line with a bunch of the other Star Wars shows. It's exactly what Star Wars needed in the right in the middle of a bunch of bad seasons or bad shows of Star Wars. But coming in in first place, Mandalorian season one, a very cool Western Star Wars show that turned out to be the best Star Wars we've gotten since the original Star Wars trilogy. You get a compelling arc throughout it for our Mandalorian Din Djarin as he's a hardened bounty hunter who in the very first episode saves little Grogu and he is softened. He has something to care for and that's just very compelling. Beyond that, there's some several... There's several action sequences that are memorable. There's some quotable lines all throughout it. And it tells a very very straightforward, basic stories. But it's all done with such excellence that it ends up being very entertaining. To me, like I said, this is the greatest Star Wars we've gotten in a long time. And so rewatchable. So for me, it is my favorite Star Wars season. There you have it. That's my ranking of all six live action Star Wars season, just down below in the comment section, share your ranking of all six live action Star Wars seasons over on my channel, I have more content like this, check those out right now, thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end, and I will see you in the next one.